Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you brothers out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. And you see, this is why I tell you about white people. Don't trust them. So are you going to give him the ticket? How long we been out here now? 10 minutes? Because Jessica, he said, she said he ran a stop sign, but she kept on questioning if he's on probation or parole. He said no. She refuses to run his information to give him the ticket. So now she's just standing here. She doesn't call for backup. And you see, this is why I tell you about white people. Don't trust them. Calling, she probably scared. Don't leave, she'll be all right. She'll come at the door in a minute. In Benton Harbor, Michigan. Back in 05, Jamel McGee says he was minding his own business when a police officer accused him of and arrested him for dealing drugs. You saying the officer made it up? Yeah, it was all made up. Of course, a lot of accused men make that claim, but not many arresting officers agree. So you phonied the report? I did. I, I falsified the report. This is former Benton Harbor police officer Andrew Collins. Were you just trying to chalk up an arrest? Well, basically, the start of that day, I was going to make sure I had another drug arrest. And in the end, you put an innocent guy in jail? Correct. Yeah. You lost everything. I lost everything. My only goal was to seek him when I got home and to hurt him. Really? That was my goal. Eventually, that crooked cop was caught, served a year and a half for falsifying many police reports, planting drugs and stealing. Of course, Jamal was exonerated, but he still spent four years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Today, both men are back here in Benton Harbor, which is a small town, maybe a little too small. Hey guys, thank you. Last year, by sheer coincidence, they both ended up at Mosaic, a faith-based employment agency where they now work side by side in the same cafe. Oh, excuse me. And it was in these cramped quarters that the bad cop and the wrongfully accused had no choice but to have it out. And I said, honestly, I have no explanation. All I can do is say I'm sorry. And Jamel says that was all it took. That was pretty much what I needed to hear. Today, they're not only cordial. It's Saturday, we went to the trampoline park. They're friends. Uh, you know, we talk about life. Such close friends. Not long ago, Jamel actually told Andrew he loved him. And I just started weeping. Well, as you can see, these are two very beautiful examples of why you should not trust Esau Edom. Female or male, does not matter. A little baby, a little kid, they're all demons, they're all devils. Point blank, period. I'm going to just jump to Isaiah chapter 10, 10 verse 1. Because based off him being an um, ex-police um, officer, he abused his authority. He abused the law. And, you know, mischief and lies. They're not just. And from the womb, they speak, speak of lies. So... Woe unto them that decree unrighteous, unrighteousness. It's like it. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. So he, you know, he um, he doctored documents stating that that uh, that Jake or that so-called black guy, you know, was a drug dealer and he was dealing drugs and put him in jail for four years four years of his time ultimately it was the lord doing that for whatever he did in his past life this down and forth but the lord it's the lord's will but at the end of the day you know the lord used the wicked to do it and that edomite was flat flat line a wicked person for doing what he did and you know for the most part 
through the spirit of Yahabash Meowshai, that is an Edomite at the end of the day. So I'm going to jump to the second scripture is uh, Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So trust and believe if you leave your bike outside, a metal bike outside, and it, you know, uncovered and it rains and, and then the sun comes out and then, you know, whatever the season, what time of the year it may be, you leave that out for a week at the, at the, at the end of the week, there's going to be rust on your bike. And that's Esau's sin. No matter what, he's going to show his horns in some way, shape or form, point blank period. You know, that little clip about the police officer. The little clip about the police officer, she showed her horns, blue lives matter, um, face mask, covering up her prior her racist tattoos and just being just being unreasonable. Just all she had to do was do what? Run his 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 um run his ID. She would have seen that he was in the clear green light and then he was right in front of his house. That's the reason why he pulled in the way he pulled in. You know, that's common sense, but she wanted to make it a big, a big thing. And it probably didn't help that, you know, the, her, his mother was how she was. But can you really blame her in a land of Babylon? Black men are getting uh, gunned down left and right. You can't blame her. That's what most of these, um, these uh, Black Lives Matter orchestrated um, protests are about so-called black man getting slaughtered and, 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 and executed in the public by the centurions, the Roman centurions, you know, because there's nothing new under the sun. Um, I'm going to jump to Romans chapter 9, verse 13, because going back to this this um, Edomite and this, this Jake, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. <coughs> and that Jake, you know, he not in the truth, but hopefully, Lord willing, maybe whatever state he's in, that he comes across the prophets and he wakes up if it if it be the uh, Lord's will. But you know, he's in darkness. He he doesn't see that being with that Edomite just putting him putting him even in more danger. You can't forgive somebody. He needs to spend a whole four years in in jail or prison, and then for the most part, you'll be somewhat even. You know, he lost four years of his life, and now he's blackballed for, you know, a dr whatever drug possession or, what, you know, whatever the trumped up falsified charges that that Edomite put on him. He should be mad. You can't apologize for taking four years of your life, and now you're working in a, 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 a coffee shop. You know, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21, though, jo though, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So, at the end of the day, that Edomite is going to be dealt with by the Lord. And since he's joined with that Edomite, he's going to see, receive the same judgment. You know? But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. But at the end of the day, guess what? That Jake is going to make it in the kingdom. He may have to be destroyed on this side, but he's still going to inherit the kingdom. He's going to be a king. And then he's going to have that same Edomite that did what he did to him in slavery, in chains, you know, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, especially, no, no telling, you know, in the past life, he, that, that probably was his master, and he was, he was a slave, and no telling what he did to him, because history, history repeats itself, it's nothing new under the sun, you know, um, yeah, I'm gonna bring out one more scripture, Chapter uh, Malachi chapter one verse four, whereas Edom saith, "We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." Thus saith the Lord of hosts, "They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever." So the Lord hates you, Edomites, and you know you can go to the Book of Obadiah, etc. The Lord hates you, Edomites. Thus saith the Bible. Period. The Lord hates you. He despises you. A righteous indignation is righteous, ang righteous anger because he, he made you to be the wicked. You know, the point of this scripture is basically 
and they shall call them the border of wickedness because you are the border of wickedness when you speak about the wicked in the bible yeah you got israel the jake uh israel that's wicked but the wicked of the bible that the lord truly hates is the edomites the top heathens because you 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 sold your birthright for raw meat you got in a sense swindled out of your um uh uh inheritance and and then you know you basically just after that you you know that that uh that um that ancient hatred for for Jake you have that ancient ancient hatred and i'm going to see if i'm going to try to bring it out real quick you have that an ancient hatred that won't go away until you're destroyed. You know? Envy not thy oppressor, Jake. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Which is perpetual means ancient. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Not just through the translating slave trade. In other captivities. You had a hand in us. In our uh, our downfall. It, um. By the force of the sword, which is your blessing, in the time of their calamity, in the time that they that their iniquity had an end. Go back to um, uh, 70 A.D. You Romans, guess who the Romans were? Edomites. You know? You guys are a plague. You're a virus to the earth, that ha and the earth is trying to get rid of you. But ultimately, guess, guess who's going to get rid of you, you Edomites? And then, Lord willing, the elect are going to get busy with Yahawashah and the angels. So, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahawashah, Bahashim Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to you brothers out there, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Endure to the end. Shalom.